Howdy, name's Dave. Channel is TXW5CSM. Today, I'm going to talk through something that I learned from a fellow amateur here recently, and that is that uh, PSK31 is a little bit more fun than I had imagined. What I have up here is a website called PSKReporter.info. What it does is people around the planet will act as listening stations and upload data into the server that runs pskreporter.info. This one uh, that I'm on, once you get past that, you go to pskmap.html. What this does is gives you a view of the planet, and because I was recently spotting on 12 meters, you can see all the recent spots that I've done on 12 meters. So if we zoom in here a little bit, we'll just go to the spot that came in from Afghanistan. And if we click on, we don't have to click on, we just cursor over the site. It not, you'll notice down here that call sign Tango 6 Echo O, Echo Oscar, <laughs> tongue tied there for a second, was reported by me at 2057 and 20, 20 55 and 27 seconds GMT on Saturday 26 April. Zooming back out, going back to the United States, uh, this is a one hour window so you can change the amount of time, the mode, whether you're searching by call sign, just play with these menus up here. It's absolutely great. Uh, kudos to whoever made it. It's uh, definitely great. So this tells you what your station has been spotting. And if you're running PSK31, you go to this station, this uh, website, so that you can see the stations that have heard you. So it's obvious that uh, right now we have some fairly decent propagation into Afghanistan. Of course, the sample size of one, we have better propagation into the United States. So sightings have been in Nevada, Georgia, North Carolina, and then up into the New England Northeast New York area. So that's pskreporter.info. Very uh, interesting site. I'm going to quickly now bring up uh, Digipan. This is the Digipan 2.0 software released in October 2004 and this gives you your basic waterfall along the lower portion of the screen and it does a, uh, a panoramic view, pulls up all of the different uh, signals that are received down here and translates them into things up here. Of course, you can click on whatever you want to listen to and then it will automatically tune to the lower portion uh, onto the waterfall. Or you can use your cursors left and right and it'll take you bouncing around to all the stronger or recent signals. So that's DigiPan. That is what I still use for PSK31. What I'm going to open up now is the software that I use to communicate with the PSK Reporter server. And it does take a moment for it to come up. It's called Multi-PSK. This is version 4.26.1. Very, very involved piece of software. Uh, I believe a French gentleman uh, made this and it's absolutely almost daunting, the things that this can do. These are all of your different modes that you can receive. Of course, your waterfall through here. You have a, uh, if you click here, it takes you into a spectrum map as opposed to waterfall. And this is freeware for non-commercial use. So go out there and do a Google search for multi-PSK. It's also the multi-mode digital transceiver. So you can use this to receive and send. I use it only for receiving. So right now my radio is on 14.070, the standard 20 meters PSK31 in digital mode uh, frequency. So up here in frequency, you'll see two, uh, I was doing a different portion of the spectrum. So I have to put in 14.07. Everything else will be waterfall uh, relative when it does it. So 14.07, put into the frequency. Don't have to worry about name, that's all transceiver type uh, activities. If I click up here in the menu, it says panoramic. I have several different panoramic options. So I have RTT45, uh, different baud rates, I have Morse code. What I'm concerned with is PSK31, etc. So I'll click on that upper portion of the panoramic 
and this brings up a horizontal panoramic view of the waterfall with all of your uh, digital decoded messages coming in horizontally across here. What I do beyond that, and I have uh, enabled PSK Reporter, there's a little link right down here in the lower left hand corner for PSK Reporter. I put my pertinent data in and ensure that I'm good, so Reporter initialize success. So here it goes, it's starting to report already, uh, let's see, November, November 3, Victor, and November 6, Hotel Foxtrot, no, Hotel Echo. Uh, now the third one, so they'll start blipping through as they're spotted, and then it runs a constant count. So as it rings or contacts the PSK uh, reporter, uh, excuse me, PSK reporter.info website, the ring count being kind of ringing on the telephone, contacting the mothership, whatever you want to call it, uh, this count will increase. I'll usually pull this down to the side, and this will run, and I have had this run, if you pull up my, uh, my call sign on the PSK reporter website, you can see all the stuff that I've recently reported. Again, I just got off of uh, 15 meters or 12 meters, one or the other, I can't really recall, and I'm currently on 20 meters, so I'm starting to spot, so there's five sends already. So you do not have to have an amateur radio license to run this, but you do have to have the radio, you do have to have the interface, and of course the software uploaded, and you can assist folks in finding out exactly where their signals are and where they are going. So we'll go back to the PSK Reporter website. I will switch from all bands into 20 meters. Uh, signals received by call sign me. All modes in the last 15 minutes go. And it will illuminate and show you all of the most recent contacts. The most, the most current ones, I believe I have it set for 10 minutes, have the little light bulb uh, flash around it. And then as they begin to go stale, they'll just look like my position right here in El Paso, Texas, but the size of the spotted sites, etc., etc. And it will go and continue to report all day long. You can put your computer into a uh, uh, standby but operational mode so you can black the screen out, lock it, whatever you want to do. What I'll usually do is just lock the screen, keep the radio on, ensure that all the ventilation fans are turned on and there you go that is a quick overview of the PSK reporter.info website really awesome I love it and the uh, also the software the multi PSK it's a great uh, way to help out your fellow amateur radio operators and uh, let them know where their signals are going remember knowledge is only power when it's shared